this video we are looking at how to get started with OpenVPN Access Server. Uh, we need to create an account uh, by visiting openvpn.net. Once you're on the create your account page, uh, you need to enter uh, your email address and choose a, a good password for your account. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now here. So go ahead and type the email address and I'm going to choose a password and then reconfirm the password here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign up now a confirmation code is being emailed to me uh, I'm gonna go ahead and access the email so I can get that code and confirm the sign up so this is the code let's copy that going back to previous page and I'm gonna type the code here once confirmed, uh, we get multiple options here that we can choose from, Access Server or OpenVPN Cloud. Now, uh, here I'm going to go ahead and choose Access Server. Access Server Quick Start uh, Guide is the first page you see once you log into the uh, portal. There is a video um, and also a step-by-step -step guide for installing Access Server. If you look at the next item on the menu, Get Access Server, as you can see, we have uh, software packages for different Linux distributions, uh, for different cloud service providers, and uh, there are a couple for the virtual appliances such as VMware and Hyper-V. If you look at one of the Linux distributions, for example, Ubuntu, let me click on this here. As you can see, we have a couple of options to install Access Server. Uh, one is via repository, and there are uh, commands here that you can use. And the second option will be da manually download the packages. Again, we got commands, and you can download the packages by clicking on these two little buttons. One is for the client, and the other one is for Access Server. So let's look at the subscription. This is one of the first steps that you need to do to create your activation key. Um, there are multiple, couple of options here. I'm going to choose the most popular one, which is flexible. And you can uh, choose your concurrent uh, number of connections you need. Um, the next thing is you're going to choose if you would like to be billed annually or you want to be billed uh, monthly. Once you choose the appropriate uh, option, then you click on proceed to payments. And then you can enter your uh, credit card information and payment information or billing information. Now for the purpose of this demo I'm going to choose the two uh, connections which is free and then I'm going to go ahead uh, click on create to create the activation key. So now you can see my activation or subscription key is here. If I click on this icon I can see the, uh, um, the key. Uh, this is something that we need to use uh, while we're installing our access server. So copy this key and um, enter it uh, at the uh, appropriate time. The next item on the menu bar is the license keys. This is where you can manage your legacy license keys. Then the next item on the menu is going to be payment details. This is where you can um, update or add your payment methods. You can look at your uh, billing information and access invoices. And then the last thing is um, support center, which is going to take you to the uh, support center page that you can uh, create a ticket or uh, view your existing tickets.